Hello everybody, I'm Chase from the Disc Golf Underground. This is a follow-up video to the Flak X backpack made by Heiserbaum. Um, this video is basically to just answer a couple of questions from previous comments that we had about our other video to show off some of the, the features that I didn't get a chance to talk about. Plus show a little bit about how I've been using this bag over the last five months. So I got this bag back in April. Since then, I've taken it on airplanes with me while traveling. I've taken it on numerous rounds. It's made it as far as uh, Chicago. We took it up to Michigan for Worlds, Am Worlds. Um, it's been to Denver with me. It's been to California. And once again, it's just a normal everyday bag. I take it to league night every Tuesday. I play a lot with this bag. Since I've got it nearly five months ago, it's pretty much brand new condition still. Even though I've taken it, I've thrown it under the planes for airplane rides, I've taken it a little bit of everywhere. Stitching has held up pretty well across the board, uh, but I just want to review some of the stuff with you, show you how my bag is officially looking as of right now, five months into having it. Um, in my first video, I talked about the possibility of sliding my soft discs into this flap right here because I originally thought I could hold it like this, have my softies from Vibram in this pouch, and that I would be able to take my discs in and out while keeping it like this. I've since realized that doesn't really work here in the Texas heat. Every time I pull the discs out here, they would be molded in half like this. It really wasn't working for me. At the bottom of this flap, there's a little button, and inside, the backpack there's different places you can put the flap for different angles what I've basically done now is I've tried to button it at the very bottom just to keep it from dangling around and I now stick my soft discs up at the top I'm able to keep three discs here without too much hassle two fairway drivers and a distance driver and that's pretty much how that sits most of the time this Zipper case here still holds my pens, my pencils, my, my plastic durable scorecards, etc. My earphones. And I use that one just to store the same stuff we talked about in the first video. This flap right here, I really don't use that much for anything. Except it stores extra minis. I've been out in tournaments too many times to where I can't find a mini or I forget my mini that that's you know, up here. And whenever I lose that one or something happens... I'm always stuck at a tournament without a mini. I've since started adding extra minis in this pouch. I never even think about it. That's just where they go. They hide back behind my bag. And I never think about it again. When it starts to rain, I unbutton the flap. And I zip this down just a little bit. You'll see I have a tout here. This does my bag. I just zip it down. And that's how I try to let it go during the rain. And I also pull out the fly and put it on. It's just something I started doing to keep my disc super dry. And it seems to work pretty well. And I'm carrying an umbrella and doing everything I can to keep everything dry. I've added a touch here. Uh, you know, it's a touch and it's a, I mean, it's a towel and it's a pouch. It happens to fit pretty nicely around the zippers. It doesn't give me too big of a hassle if I'm playing it around. And I use a disc. I throw it. It's wet. I slip it in my couch. I walk around to the next hole, throw whatever disc I want, and I rotate my disc that I've used in and out of my couch throughout the round. Um, it's not part of the bag. It's not Heiser Bomb. This was from a fundraiser thing on the Byroom Disc Golf Group collector's page on Facebook. Um, so I got it. I used it. I wasn't sure what to think when I first got it, but I think I like it now, as you can see by all the use. I don't carry normal towels anymore just because I use my couch. Um, Let's see, so a couple of people asked some questions about the bag. First off, how it's been doing. Padding still works well, stitching still works well. Nothing has come undone from a seam standpoint. Um, in a round, whenever I'm playing, I put my scorecard here in this sleeve. Um, I use the mini pouch up here. I know in the old video I had mini here and then didn't use this one, but now I keep the minis here just for convenience. That's where I tend to find it and not lose it. That's where I tend to keep the scorecard. I've increased the amount of putters I use. I've got a driving putter, a backup putter, a putting putter, and some. I just carry more stuff now than I used to. Not a big deal. One of the questions that was asked was about my bag tag holder. As you can see, there's one on this side, and there's one on this side. 
These came directly from Heiserbaum when the bag came. So I didn't go out and buy these specifically. They just happened to be here on the bag. I thought that was a nice touch from them. It's real convenient whenever I'm swapping out tags. They have these little nice clips here. It's just a nice little perk, though it's not really part of the bag per se. But it's fun to have those. It keeps things organized for me. Um, other things that people have asked about this particular bag, these pouches I've started using. So I got a birdie bag when I was at Worlds and I actually use these now, these little small ones between the putter pocket and the extra zipper pocket, which I was not using before. But one of the big questions someone wanted to know is if they don't carry as many discs as I do, would the discs stay in like they're supposed to or is there a better way to organize them? So what I did is I got my practice bag here. This is where I keep just regular drivers and stuff when I go do field practice, an old end of a bag that I have. And it has the U-disc divider. Well, the cool thing is if you have an old bag or you have a U-disc divider, you can take it and pop it right down inside of this. Oops. And it basically fits like a charm. Now, if you start sliding these things back behind it, it gets a little bit crowded and it kind of makes it a little bit wonky, but technically you could still run around with a U-disc divider from any old bag that you have inside of here. I think if I had one of these dividers though, I would pop it up to where this was more out of the way, but technically if you didn't want to carry so many, there you go. There's a way for you to now have stuff without them falling over and sitting around. Additionally, with this U-disc divider, inside this bag are these Velcro straps. I have no idea what these things were originally made for, but inside the U-disc divider, you have the Velcro from where you could potentially change the spacing of the divider. So if you stuck this in here, you could now use these Velcro things. Oh, maybe you can't. I changed my mind, you can't do that. I thought these were the side that would stick in there. I just saw that as I was making this video, but it doesn't look like those would actually snap into here like I was thinking they could. So yeah, I'm still not sure what these are for, but they're there in case anybody decides they can figure it out. Maybe you can post a comment on the video and you can tell me what these straps are for inside there. But yeah, I still love the bag. Heiserbaum did a phenomenal job, four months, Lots of mileage on the round, or I'm sorry, five months, lots of mileage. Seams are looking pretty nice. People compliment me on my bag all the time. They really like it, and uh, I'm definitely a big fan. So thanks again, Heiserbaum. Thanks for watching these videos, and I hope you enjoy the backpack should you go out and get one. Thanks. Have a good